So perhaps you're saving for retirement, but you want a better return on your money. You want your retirement savings to grow at a faster rate. So you need to invest your money, but you're perhaps nervous about this thing called the stock market, nervous about investing into shares of companies, also known as equities. Well, in this video, I'm gonna try and make things really simple for you and let you know that actually, as long as you invest the right way and keep it simple, the odds are actually in your favor of being successful. My name's Carl Roberts and I'm a regulated financial advisor. So, investing in the shares of the great global companies of the world is known as investing in global equities. And what happens when you invest in a global equity fund, you become an owner in these great companies. These are businesses whose products and services you will use every day. You become an owner in a, of, of these businesses and you get to share in their growth and all the profits that they make. And this will greatly increase the chances of your retirement savings growing, not only above rates you'd get in the bank, but also above inflation over the long term. So over the last 96 years, the global equity sector has achieved a positive return 77% of the time. Meaning at the end of each of those 96 years, the returns from a global equity investment would have been positive 77% of the time. And if you focused on just the UK separately, so if you just bought a UK fund focusing on just UK companies, the UK equity sector has achieved a positive return 74% of the time over the last 96 years. Which means that since 1926, there's only been 25 years where the returns on UK equity were negative. In fact, there has only been five years when UK equities produced a negative return between minus 10% and minus 20%. Only three years when the return was between minus 20% and minus 30%. And only one year in 1974 when the return for that year was lower than minus 30%. So if you've done some research and reading around equities, you may have come across two terms, a bear market and a bull market. So just to clarify, a bear market is when the price of equities has fallen 20% below its last peak. And a bull market is the opposite. It's when the price of equities has risen 20% from its last low point. So bull and bear markets are actually very common. And if we go into a bear market in particular, there'll be a lot of scary headlines in the press. And a lot of investors will panic and sell their investments or won't invest any new money at all. But you don't need to worry about bear markets in particular. They are common, but they could be an opportunity, particularly if you're still saving. So in the UK, over the last 96 years, the average bear market has lasted one year and six months, with an average return during these periods of minus 34%. But if we look at the average bull market, so remember this is where everything's going positive and the market's growing strongly, the average bull market has lasted seven years with an average return of 496%. And what's more, the biggest gains always follow the biggest falls. So you tend to find that the biggest bull markets, the positive markets, always follow the worst bear markets. So even though the odds are in your favor, the percentage, the percentages stack up in your favor it's more likely that you're going to achieve positive returns rather than negative returns over the long term. Some of you may still feel worried. You don't want to experience one of those sharp um, bear market falls. But if we think about your retirement, you know, if you retire sort of 60, 65, um, which is typical for most people these days, 
um, you're going to find that you probably at least got 20 years uh, together in retirement, probably a lot longer. And if we start looking at this data, so we go back over the last or 96 years and start breaking it up into rolling 20 year periods, starting from the start of uh, 1926 and keep going rolling 20 periods every month all the way up to today, you'll find that there's not a single 20 year period where an investment of global equities has made a loss over that 20 year period. So actually, is investing in global equities a risk? I'll let you decide. All you need to do to be a successful investor, particularly in global equities, is just be patient and stay invested. Let the odds work in your favour. I hope you found this video useful. Please do subscribe to the channel because there's lots more videos coming soon all around investing and retirement planning.